John, welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, in today's video we are finally going to be grabbing the last key part to fixing the trash fitment on an S550 Mustang, bro. So, I know you guys are ready to see what it is, you know what I'm saying? And I'm ready to get it on the car. As you guys can probably see, we got some traffic up ahead. You know what I'm saying? But we're like five minutes away from my boys over there at Tire Man. They're going to get us right today. So with that being said, I'll see you guys when we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright y'all, so we just got here. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick walk around of the stain so you guys can see the current fitment on the car. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's okay. It's no longer monster trucking. Now we tire tucking, you feel me? But the wheels are just too sunken in for the kid and I want them to sit flush with the fender. Um, I've talked about this in a couple videos, man. If you guys haven't been in the loop with all the videos, I know YouTube is tripping right now. I don't know what they got going on. They not telling people about the videos, nor can you go on the YouTube channel and find the video that just dropped. I don't know why it's doing that, man, but for everybody who's been tuning in and has been getting their notifications, I appreciate y'all. Just keep tapping in with the kid, man. We're almost at 3K, y'all. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But let's go ahead and get a quick walk around of the stain. And I'm going to go tap in with my boys and uh, see what we got going. Because they got a couple cars here. So, I don't know. Last time I pulled up, you feel me? They type stopped all work. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And put my car up in the air. So, we're going to see what they do this time. Yeah, sir. Sure. So as you guys can see, we got the stain in the cut, man. So you see, we tuck in tire just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Still got about two fingers in there. But the issue that I'm having is that look at that. The wheels, the stock wheels, don't sit flush with the fender liner. I mean, not fender liner, but the fender. You feel me? And I want it to sit flush. So with that being said, today we're gonna be getting some spacers for the car and that's literally gonna wrap up the look. Also, Ford, I don't know why the hell y'all do us like this, but Ford lug nuts suck. They are trash, like literal trash. Any Ford owner can vouch, bro. They are trash. As you guys can see, only have four right here. Only have four right here. And then if you go on this side, I got four right here and then I got five. The reason for that is every time I take in I've taken off these wheels. One lug nut has either rounded completely off or got stuck to the socket to the point where even putting it back on the uh, car and tighten it down and trying to take the socket off wouldn't help. You know what I'm saying? I literally had to beat them out with the mallet to get them out. So with that being said, I was like, I'm not going to put these back on the car and go through the same issue. So I'm going to go ahead and get some new lug nuts and some new wheel spacers. And this thing should be sitting like perfect, honestly. Right now it's cool, but but we want perfection. You know what I'm saying? We gotta fix that fitment. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get, we gotta come correct. So we're gonna see what they can do for the kid. We're gonna go from there. All right, y'all. So here are the spacers right here. You know what I'm saying? These joints are pretty thin. I don't want to go too crazy on the spacer just because you know what I'm saying. I do run my cars and I do take it to the track. You feel me? So I didn't want to go too crazy. And I do want to get some hub centric points, but since this is just a temporary fix until the actual wheels come in, I think we should be straight. I actually was running these same joints on Mamba uh, when I did the Candy Apple Red wheels. For all the new subscribers, Mamba was my 2015 2SS Camaro. I bought it put a picture on the screen right now. But anyway, I was running these same spaces on that car, um, and I had no issues. So we're going to go ahead, wait till they finish wrapping up these cars, and then we're going to pull the thing over there and get him right. You know what I mean? Yeah, show time. Time to get right. Time to get right. See, people, this is what happens when when Ford gives you bullshit lug nuts. This is what happens when you buy a Ford. All right, you get bullshit lug nuts. All right, and then you gotta go 
to see, you're not gonna have the hookup like I got the hookup. But and you gotta go to my boy Tar man. He gonna take care of you because you're part of the day out squad. But if you was a regular regular pedestrian, then you would have to pay type big bag for this. You know what I'm saying? Ford, what the fuck? It's a fucking 30, 35 grand plus car, bro. Weak ass lug nuts. Like, don't make no damn sense. Weak ass lug nuts and weak parts. I'm crazy. I'm fucking dead. Alright, we're gonna see how that joint sit, man. Buddy look confused. Good. These are the only ones you got? The widest spaces you got? This is the bigger one we have. The biggest ones y'all got? Not garbage. Fucking garbage. Fucking garbage. All right. Look at that shit. That fake ass shit. Cheap Chinese made, made ass shit. This supposed to be American muscle, bro. What the fuck. God damn, Ford. Come on, man. I'm better than this shit. That's not right, bro. That ain't right. So this is the side with the spacer on it. Mind y'all, it's in the air. Then I can't really show you. Well, I mean, this is the side. This is stock. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's really like a big ass difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to keep in mind it's a small spacer. But I'm hoping that it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it sticks out. I'm praying. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, bro. Like, I'm not trying to. I ain't asking for too much, but I don't think it's going to. I don't know. It might. It might. Shit, it might, I don't know. What do you do? This ain't good, buddy. This is enough. Here, it's that. Here, it's that. See that whole thing. A little coke. Yeah. And I think with an alignment to pull out the camber, I think we're gonna be sitting straight. Cause I feel like there is a little bit of camber in the alignment, but it's definitely, definitely, yeah. The show poking out more. Show, show this more. Way better. Definitely got a lot of camera. Gotta get the camera pulled out. That joint straight, man. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Not time to go wash this joint because it's fucking filthy. The next day. Uh, so as y'all can tell, it's a completely different day. Um, it's actually raining right now. I did get a chance to wash this thing. If you want to see the pictures of this thing looking right, make sure you go to the Instagram, Productions underscore go tap in. Hit the follow button for the kid. I'm on the road to 4K. I'm at like 3,990 something. I need like four more followers or something like that. So if you haven't already, make sure you go to my IG and go subscribe. I mean, I said subscribe. Well, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 3K here and on the road to 4K on Instagram. So subscribe here and then go to the Instagram and hit that follow button. Like you some pictures. I will follow you back and drop a comment. Let me know that you're part of the JI squad. Um, so I can know that you came from watching this video. You get what I'm saying? But without further ado, that's just gonna be it for this video. I'm not gonna lie, the spacers helped out a little bit, but I think I still need to get an alignment to pull out all of the camera. I really don't want to run any camera on this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably get an alignment sometime soon. And that should fix the uh should fix the issue of us not having the tires completely flush with the fender. I'm hoping that works. Um, it's not really that big of a deal, but I would like it to sit flush with the fender. So we'll see if we can get that to happen. I heard that if I go with like an inch and a half spacer, it should work, but I don't feel like spending money on like a bigger spacer or whatever, again, or spending more money on a spacer when I know I'm getting new wheels, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why I was like, I just throw these little temporary joints on to help it out at least because y'all seen the fitment was terrible. But with that being said, man, that's going to be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Like I said, give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below and I'll see y'all in the next one at 1.30.